What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me to grow. And to the Boss Nation, thank y'all so much, man. So much for coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys, I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby, y'all I got. And, uh, bam, tonight's video, baby, is about the Missouri Tigers, man. Yes. Yes, guys, the Missouri Tigers 2021 football schedule preview. And, um, fam, Missouri, man, they had a decent year last year, man. They knew Coach Drinkwicks had a decent year, you know. He coached them boys hard, but, hey, it paid off in the end, man. They actually went 5-5, five and five, you know, in the SEC, the toughest conference in the nation, baby, like I always say, which we already know that. But anyway, they did a good job last year, man. So, fam, I'm about to preview their schedule, you know. And uh, just see how I think Missouri's going to do uh, for the upcoming season. But uh, I do know that, hey, we're getting back to normal. You know, we're not really playing um, a whole all ACC schedule like we was. So we actually getting back to playing, you know, out-of-conference teams and whatnot. But anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all up, man. Let's just get started. All right. November? Not November. I'm sorry. September the 4th, guys, versus Central Michigan. So, fam, Central Michigan, man, yes, they are an out-of-conference um, team. But um, fam, they have they have nothing like the SEC, bro. They ain't got the players the SEC have. They don't have the talent, man. They don't even have the coaching staff the SEC has. So with that being said, gotta give Missouri a W, man. Straight out the bat, first game of the year, W, Missouri. All right, Ooh, next game on the list. We jump straight into the SEC, man. On uh, September 11 at Kentucky, in which last year Missouri won by 20, uh, 20 to 10. So they won by 10 points or whatnot, um, and that's, that was versus Kentucky. That was a Kentucky at, the, uh, at home. But now they got Kentucky. Uh, they can actually go to Kentucky. So, fam, um, okay. Kentucky last year, man, they wasn't they wasn't all that either. You know, they did okay at times, you know, and whatnot. They surprised me against Tennessee. Yes, they did. But still, it's like they had their ups and downs, you know. But uh, as far as Missouri, though, man, Missouri, they never gave up. As far as I can see, they never, you know, quit on anything. Like, whoever they face, bro, they going to fight. You know, they ain't going to give up. And that's just, that just the coaching mentality that they have. They just say the mentality they coach drink with, man, and they new head coach in which they did not give up, you know, and they coach it the same way. So with that being said, fam, Kentucky, man, yes, they got, they got some talent, but – Still, not as much as in Missouri, I don't think, man. I think Missouri is edging them a little bit and whatnot in talent. And also, man, I just think Missouri, they just they just fight more. You know, they, they fight more than me. So with that being said, even though they go to Kentucky, I got to give Missouri the W, man. W, Missouri wins. All right, Let's see. Next on the list, we got September 18th versus Southeast Missouri State, in which, okay, this, this could be a bit of a robbery right here, man, because – you got Southeast Missouri State, in which, uh, oh my gosh, in 2019, man, Missouri beat this boy 50 to nothing. So I was thinking it might be a little bit of a robbery, but further, I, I just, I just uh, look at this score, guys. Second thought, this, this would not be a robbery, man. Uh, Missouri, if they beat them boys 50 points to nothing, man, in 2019, then I can only imagine what's going to be in 2021. Like, for real. And plus, they are out of conference um, team and whatnot. And also, man, Missouri just got too much going. Like they, SEC, um, one SEC. I ain't gonna say SEC powerhouse just yet, but SEC contender. You know, got them big uggers in the trenches. They got the receivers. They got man. Look, Missouri just got too much. Fifty to nothing, bro. I can see that again in twenty um twenty twenty one. This season coming up. So with that being said, W Missouri. So right out the bat, baby, I see Missouri winning three games. Um, three games, guys, back to back to back. All right, September twenty fifth at Boston College. Okay, so yes, this is um um out of conference as well. But Boston College, man, is well known. They're well known ACC. So, um, fam, hmm, this could be interesting, man. This could be interesting right here. But let's see. I don't even think Boston College did all that last year. Even if I ain't even heard nothing about Boston College last year. I don't even know these, uh, they even played, man. So, with that being said, fam, I really haven't been keeping up with Boston College. Cause it's just, just, I just don't, for real, you know. 
and let you just rid of it, man. But um, Boston College against Missouri, man, I don't see them giving them issues for real, man. Yeah, they might give them a little bit in the beginning, but Missouri should take this game, guys, and run with it. Like I'm, I'm giving Missouri at least, at least um three, two to three touchdowns, man. That's at least, you know, more than likely it's gonna be more than that. So, yes, fam, I can definitely see Missouri putting out another victory against Boston College. That's four wins in a row. All right. Uh, October 2nd versus Tennessee. And they actually lost to Tennessee last year, man. Uh, 35 to 12. So, yes, it was, um, it was a beat down, you know. But this year, Tennessee got so much shit going on. I don't even know what to, where to start with Tennessee, man. NCW violation, like I, like I've said pretty much all my videos. Give me kids McDonald's bags with freaking Big Mac and fries chicken nuggets, and a milkshake on top of all that money, you know, milkshake not included, they just give it to you, you know, they get that to you um, along with the bag, but anyway, fam, Tennessee just got too much going this year, plus they're getting all these freaking UCF guys, so this is Drinkwitz's second year in the conference and whatnot, and UCF guys, they have yet to even play in one game in SEC, so with all this stuff going on, I just don't see Tennessee being any, any good this year, man. Not not this year. So with that being said, I got to get to Missouri. I think they're going to pull out another victory. Plus, it's at home. All right. Next on the list, October 9th versus North Texas. Man, Missouri got some pretty easy um, pretty easy schedules so far, man. You know, if, if you ask me. Fam, North Texas won't be able to pose any threats either. They can try. But Missouri is going to shut these boys out. Well, I don't say shut them out. But it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like a shutout once you actually see them play. So, with that being said, I got to get a W to Missouri, baby. SEC wins again. All right. October 16th, though, versus Texas A&M. Yeah, we got them at home. Got them at home. But Texas A&M, man, last year they only lost to one team, which was Alabama. You know, roll tide, you know. And um, Texas A&M was a, pretty much a, it was a juggernaut, man. Like, they were just going through the SEC and whatnot. They should have been the college football playoffs, which we all know that, but Ohio State got in because they whole freaking league made accommodations for them to get in, in which they got blown out by us. So, with that being said, though, bro, Texas A&M brings back too much talent, man. I think they rank like number third or fourth in the SEC, and they got a really good recruiting class. You know, they already got really good players already there. So, with that being said, I got to get the first loss to Texas A&M, man. I do not see Missouri beating Texas A&M. All right, next on the list, well, bye week. October 23rd is a bye week. And then next game on the list, October 30th at Vanderbilt, in which they beat Vanderbilt 41 to nothing last year, in which everybody was beating Vanderbilt 41 to nothing, 50 to nothing. I mean, it, it was horrible, man. Vanderbilt, it was horrible for Vanderbilt. But with that being said, fam, I don't, I don't see Vanderbilt being any better this year. They might be a little bit improved, but I just don't see them being Missouri, man. Missouri is going to beat Vanderbilt. At least by four touchdowns. So, with that being said, I got to give it another W. Woo, Missouri's only lost one game so far, bro. And it, we are already fit to be in November. All right, November 6th, we are at Georgia. In which the other, Missouri lost 49-14 last year. So, it's 35 points. Yeah, it's a beat down. And, uh, fam, I really think that Georgia's going to come out of the East. Georgia has so many dogs coming back. Plus, they got a hell of a recruiting class. Georgia just got um, too much right now. I got to get that second loss to Georgia, man. I do not see Missouri pulling this victory out. But anything is possible. Anybody, anybody can get beaten on any given Saturday now. Don't get me wrong. Anybody can. But I just don't see Missouri pulling this victory out against Georgia. So for that reason alone, man, I got to get it to, um, to Missouri on this one. All right, next on the list, South Carolina at home, in which they won 17-10 to last year. They just fired it on their coach must champ. In which I haven't really been farther about along South Carolina either, man. But I do know that South Carolina, they are decent. They are decent, fam. But with all these first coaches, these first head coaches getting in the league, man, I just don't I just don't know about them right now. But I do know about Missouri. This is the second year, like I already said. So I gotta go with the experienced coach, in which Drinkwicks. He is gonna lead um Missouri to another victory. So I gotta give Missouri another W. That's another W, baby. All right, versus Florida. And they lost to Florida 17-41 to 41 last year. This is November 20. Okay, fam. All right, these next two games, bro, it's 
going to be a little rough. Florida, on the other hand, not so sure. Because Florida, man, last year, Florida was Florida was really good, even though they kind of seemed a little overrated to me at times because the teams that they should have been blowing out, blowing out, they wasn't blowing them out. So, with that being said, that was last year. And it was last year, but they lost a lot of talent. And most teams can't re um can't, can't reload. You know, they usually rebuild. And I'm thinking Florida, man, is going to have a bit of a rebuilding year. So I really don't think Florida's going to be as good as they was last year. I really don't. But as far as um as far as um Florida, you know, beating Missouri or whatnot, I'm not so sure. This game could go either way. It can go either way, fam. And plus, y'all got Florida at the house. So by y'all having Florida at the house, man, hell, y'all just might beat Florida. Y'all just might beat them, man. But I'm just not sure right now because Florida still got talent. So with that being said, I'm just going to say this is a toss-up. I have no idea who's going to win this game. So I'm just going to say toss-up. And next on the list, last game, November 27th at Arkansas, in which y'all won 50-48, in which I watched that game. Man, that was a classic. I'm talking about, bro, it was a shootout from freaking beginning to the end, man. You know, the Halls wasn't giving up. Missouri wasn't giving up. You know, the coaches weren't giving up. Nobody was giving up, bro. I'm talking about nobody. So, huh, this is going to be another fight. This is going to be another play, probably another shootout as well with KJ Jefferson and y'all QB, bro. Yes, this is this is going to be another another fight, another shootout. And it's at Arkansas this time. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know, fam. I don't know, man. This game, this game could go either way, too, because it barely, y'all barely beat them last year, in which it could have went the other way last year, but y'all looked up and y'all got them at y'all house and whatnot, man. So, I don't know, fam. This is another toss-up. This is another toss-up, man. So, let's just go back and look, bro. I got y'all winning every game except Texas A&M and Georgia. So y'all have already won one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, seven games. Um, my only loss right now is the Texas A&M and Georgia. Then y'all beat South Carolina. That's eight. So really, it's eight and two going into Florida, man. Eight and two going into Florida. So with that being said, though. And Florida, Arkansas, y'all going to pull one of those games out. I do not see y'all losing both of those games. So, I'm going to go ahead and say nine, maybe nine and two, nine and three. And, bro, that's a hell of a year. Because, like I say, y'all just went five and five in SEC, all SEC. So, if y'all going to go nine and two, nine and three this year, bro, y'all going bowling, baby. Y'all going bowling, man. So, that being said, Missouri, I can definitely see Missouri having a good year this year. And um, like I said, bro, I don't really, I really don't see y'all lose to Florida and Arkansas. I'm thinking y'all gonna win one of those games and whatnot. So that's why I got y'all going nine and three, man. You know. But anyway, fam, man, just leave y'all comments and opinions and whatnot in the comment section as usual. And like I always say, well, like I'm starting to say, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. You know. And with that being said, fam, much love, much love, fam. And uh, also, guys, if you want to donate to me, man, you can donate to me on Cash App or PayPal. The link is in the description. All right. With that being said, much love, much love, fam. And stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right. Peace.